North Korean provocations was the X factor that could cancel long-awaited inter-Korean family reunions. Fortunately, Pyongyang refrained from such acts, and preparations for the meetings are now forging ahead. A delegation from Seoul will visit the venue for last-minute checkups on Thursday. Here's Song Ji Sun on how the reunion will take place. The 20th family reunion will take place as scheduled. This comes after the two Koreas held high-level talks last August this year that thought inter-Korean relations in a way to enhance humanitarian exchanges. South Korea's Unification Ministry said Wednesday that the venue is ready to welcome families reuniting for the first time in 65 years. Our preliminary delegation will depart for the venue on Thursday to fine-tune details for the reunion, like the overall itinerary, routes and accommodation. The two rounds of family reunions, starting with the first, will see some 400 South Koreans travel to Mount Kumgang in North Korea to specifically meet 97 North Koreans who sought family living in the South. Following this, another 90 South Koreans, accompanied by other family members, will get to meet their family living in the North. Over the course of three days, the families get to reunite six times, each lasting two hours. On both trips, participants will arrive at Sokcho a day earlier to be briefed on do's and don'ts before traveling to the north. In total, around 650 South Koreans will get to reunite with their separated families. The oldest participant is aged 98. Despite earlier woes that the reunion may not be held had North Korea made any provocative move, South Korea's unification ministry says Pyongyang is cooperative in prepping the event the first since February last year. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.